Tonight, I'm enjoying one of my favorite beers. This is Grandpa's Sweater Oatmeal Stout from Barnhammer Brewing in Winnipeg. It is just a nice, mellow stout. Exactly the kind of thing you want at the end of a hard day. Or on a special occasion such as the 100th Mailbag Monday. Nobody is more surprised than me that this is the 100th Mailbag Monday episode that I've done. I'm just... The reaction from you guys is so impressive and surprising. I just I just enjoy doing this. Plus, there's cool stuff. So, in addition to this that one of you guys sent me, I'm going to bring in the usual assortment of mailbag items. This one is uh, one of the ones that uh, came through the dropshipping warehouse in Mississauga, so I have no idea what it is. Oh, hey! It's an HDMI video capture uh, thing. So this is a USB HDMI video capture dongle. Uh, HDMI on that side, USB 3 on that side. This is something that I noticed a lot of people on uh, on Brian Locke's uh, Discord were finding cheap and grabbing. So I decided that this would might be kind of a handy thing to have too. So I grabbed one. I may use it for doing screen capture on my Raspberry Pi. I mean, there are other ways of doing it, but if I'm uh, experimenting with that or just recording from a, cam from a camera or any number of things. But for now, let's just see what the little user manual says. It can do uh, max resolution uh, 3840 by 2160 at 30 hertz, or, and it can... Output uh, 1920 by 1080. So it down samples. Okay. Uh, supports HDMI standard cable up to 15 meters. Yeah, yeah. Uh, most acquisition software, VLC, OBS, etc. Supports Windows, Android, and Mac. Oh. Don't see Linux in there. Well, we'll just have to find out whether that works or not. HDMI to USB 3 audio video capture card game recording box and live streaming currently selling for $12.41 Canadian or $9.39 American which is what I paid for it as well okay and free shipping yay from Lucky Shop 7 so this is basically cut and paste straight out of the little manual if you want to see it uh, there will be a link as usual down in the description this is interesting and this might be pose a problem with my workshop computer. Um, I'm not sure whether it is an i5-3400 or better. And it wants NVIDIA graphics. Hmm. Oh, I'll have to try it anyway. Okay, well, it does in fact show up and VLC can pick it up. That's a good sign. Although I think it's messed up my audio capture, but we'll live with that. Okay, let's experiment with this thing a little bit. Let's grab a HDMI cable, that works. That's a good sign. I'll plug in my work laptop here, which we'll see what happens. So there's Reddit up on the screen there. And then on here, let's go there. We'll try Reddit in night mode. That's actually even easier to see. Still got that delay, but that's quite easy to read. Oh, very cool. Okay, so here I'm just using VLC to record directly. I'm not using my video capture on top of video capture. And I've got the audio set correctly now. Um, I just had to choose a different audio input in the capture options on VLC. But yeah, that's pretty straightforward. Well, that is... A neat thing, and I think it'll be handy should I uh, decide to do any live streaming in the future, which I don't really have any plans for, but uh, or if I'm working on anything that I need to just grab a copy of the video uh, and capture it to show you guys. Oh, well, now I can do it fairly easily. Well, that was kind of fun. Uh, next in, we have soldering iron tip. Okay, that's not really that surprising. It's probably another different tip for this T12. You can 
slowly grabbing an assortment of them. What is this one? This is a fairly fine tip. This one is the chisel tip that so many people recommend. So I figured I'd grab one and give it a shot. And it's fairly small. This is the, um, where's the, there you go, the T12, D12, I don't know, is it A22 tip shape? I'm not sure. We'll see what the listing says. One piece T12 soldering iron tip for soldering rework station. I got this from a user who is no longer registered on eBay. But as you can see, I paid $7.18 Canadian. So as always, when the original listing isn't around, I will link you to this search, which should find lots of them. So in the absence of, uh, of the original seller, let's just look at Heiko's webpage because this is a clone of the Heiko's. Although the package actually says it's a Heiko and it says Heiko all over it. So maybe it is, or maybe it's just a ripoff. I'm not sure. Anyway, here is what I got the T12 D12. So it is a little, uh, chisel kind of tip um two flats on it uh fairly narrow uh, 1.2 millimeters uh wide by 0.5 millimeters thick okay next we have extender hmm oh wow that's been abused uh i hope it's okay ribbon cable Oh, I think I remember what this is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This is a micro SD card extender. So my printer is an Ender 3, which has a micro SD card right on the front. It just slides right in, but it occurred, but it's kind of inconvenient. So this will allow that to plug into the machine. And then I can take the SD cards plug them into this at a more convenient location rather than kind of underneath where the print bed slides out. So that's handy or it could have been handy before I, uh, press the raspberry Pi into service using Octoprint. So now I don't actually have to run SD cards back and forth. TF micro SD card extension cable, extender, flexible extender for car GPS, one piece. I guess, yeah, you could use that for loading new files onto your car GPS. Sure. I got this from Prize Shop, and it cost me $5.71 Canadian with free shipping. Not a huge amount else to say down here. 48 centimeters long. Um, any size of uh, TF or micro SD card. Uh, yeah, the capacity doesn't matter. It's just wires. Compatible with many, many things. Plug the card into the connector. Plug the adapter into the machine. How much easier could that be? So the fourth thing in, this is camera accessories, it says. Hmm, lots well, of bubble pack. <laughs> Electron go out mosquito small a night lamp. It is a plug-in bug zapper night light. <laughs> Why did I order this? Just because it was fun. <laughs> it seemed like an amusing thing anyways. LED socket, electric mosquito killer lights, fly bug insect traps, zapper night lamp. <laughs> I got it from this guy whose name I can't pronounce, Zing Hui store online. Uh, he isn't selling anything at the moment, as happens. So as usual, I will link you to this search, which will find a bunch of them. And meanwhile, we'll look at another seller. So you can get them in a variety of colors and uh, EU or North American. I paid $1.57 for this from that guy that's not selling it anymore. It might have been an auction, but I'm not sure. It was so long ago. Yeah, $1.57 back in April. Anyway, what does it say? Uh, uses 110 volted volts for the US version. Features lighting and mosquitoes, material plastic and circuit boards. Right. Not much to say about it. Okay, let's uh, just plug this in and see what happens. Power it on there. Nothing's happened. Actually, I'm going to power it on there and then power it on here. So we have some blue LEDs in the background of it. And as you can see, 
There are some bits of metal work, two different bits of metal work with fingers sticking out a certain distance apart. Now, I don't know how far apart those are exactly. We'll deal with that uh, when I get to tear down time sometime in the future, but I'm assuming Mr. Bug flies in here and is attracted by the fancy blue LEDs, because he wasn't attracted by fancy blue LEDs, and lends himself across that electricity, whatever it is there, and gets zorped. Straightforward enough. I can sort of see the shadow of some electronics just sort of flapping around in the breeze in there. Yeah. So there is some kind of a driver in there. It's not just that metalwork connected straight to the line voltage, probably. So, <laughs> or maybe that's just a power supply for the LEDs. Who knows? We'll find out in a future teardown. That should be fun. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for, at least the moment I've been waiting for, this special one that was sent in for Mailbag Monday number 100. This came from Larry in Richmond Hill, Ontario. Thank you so much. Let's see what it is. I'm being much more gentle than normal. Ooh, silver box. <laughs> That's pretty fancy, Larry. Let's see what's in here. A note. A dip lead alignment tool. Lift the arm, insert the IC, lower the arm, squeeze, etc. Paduk Poplar. Holy hell, man. <laughs> Larry has gone all out. He's made me a bespoke tool here. Now I want to open it with a certain amount of reverence. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is freaking awesome. <laughs> Okay, now I gotta find a bent, uh, bent IC. And if I don't have one, I'll make one. Okay, a source of ICs. I don't even know what this board is or was or came out of. Okay, so there we have one IC with horribly bent pins due to some careless knob operating it. Set that down into there. Squeeze those in. Look at that. That's nice and straight. Okay. And then there's this little piece of a uh, turned pin header to straighten the them this way. Ho, 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 ho. Larry, you've outdone yourself. This is amazing. I know you used to be able to get tools similar to this in plastic from Radio Shack or places like that. But this is brilliant. A fancy bespoke Paduk Poplar gold and lacquer. Man, thanks, Larry. This is going to uh, earn pride of place on my tool shelf. That is excellent. Well, that was an amazing Mailbag Monday. Not only is it the hundreds, but I got this awesome, cool, handmade uh, handmade tool from Larry. That's that's just excellent. Um, anyway, let's uh, let's go over the shipping times for these things because that's a typical thing. The HDMI capture card, because it was shipped from within Canada, only took eighteen days. The SD card extender took thirty days, which is nice. This soldering tip took 116 days, and the bug zapper is the winner at 159 days. Yes, I waited 159 days for this thing. It is definitely going to be a teardown. That's the entire purpose of buying it. Well, thanks, everybody, for watching. Um, for watching 100 of these things. Wow. 
don't worry i'm not going to stop doing them um I'm, i just have too much fun doing these and i know from the reaction that you guys have fun doing them too or seeing them done so mailbags shall continue for the indefinite future uh thanks as always to my patreon supporters for helping me pay for these things thanks to larry and thanks to all of you for watching i will talk to you later